It's a privilege to announce our next government candidate. Our next government candidate was born in Farmington, Maine, grew up in Borough, Maine. He graduated college in 1965 from Harvard University. He spent five years in the Navy and was awarded two medals, the Navy Achievement Medal and the Navy Accommodation Medal. Then in 1973, he graduated from Maine Law School and was number two in his class. He spent 32 years as a lawyer in Maine. He has been married for 28 years to his wife, who is a judge. Uh, he's also the founding member of the Somerset, uh, Somerset Economic Development Corporation. Not only has he had success in his uh, life, he has two successful sisters, Janet, who is currently a Maine Attorney General, and Dora, who is uh, Maine's Public Health Director. He uh, has spent 15 years in the Maine Legislature and is now currently serves in the Maine Senate representing District 26. Now it's time to introduce potentially our next governor of the great state of Maine, Peter Mills. Well, thanks for showing up. This is a good crowd. Um, not exactly uh, the Rotary Club. It's quite an extra. Um, always in doubt what to do with a mixed crowd like this. We, we're, as candidates, we're often compelled to speak in different modes. Uh, somehow to reflect the tenor of the audience. And uh, if I'm speaking to uh, raw meat Republicans, it's a very different posture uh, than if I'm speaking to, uh, to a wide mixture, what appears to be is a broad mixture, a broad cross-section of our society. But why don't I start? I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do for you. I'll give you, the, I'll give you four minutes of a Republican stump speech, all right? And bear with, and then we'll get into the more thoughtful and reflective moment. Right? So this is how it works. If I'm in front of a Republican caucus down east somewhere, and uh, we're dealing with Tea Party people and uh, uh, right-wing people and big people who are a very conservative disposition, want to hear something really bad about Democrats and Baldacci and the miserable 35 years that we've spent in the minority in this state, how the state has all gone to hell because of uh, the Democrats have been in charge of everything and the Republicans haven't been able to get a, a foothold. So I start like I start like this. I say, I'm Peter Mills. I was born in Farmington, Maine. I, uh, ten, age 10, I went to, my dad moved to Gorham with the whole family and he was a U.S. attorney. Graduated from Gorham High School. I'm really a child of two Maines. I grew up in both parts of Maine, really. And the Navy was kind enough to give me a scholarship to Harvard College when I was in high school. I graduated, spent five years on board destroyers, uh, a lot of it on the gun line in Vietnam. I came back here to law school, practiced law in Portland with Harry Richardson, who's a good Republican, Hart, ran for governor in 1974. Horace Hildreth, who grew up in the Blaine House. Uh, his dad was Horace Hildreth, the governor in the 1930s and 1940s. And, uh, Moved to Stowhaven, Maine in 1982. I have a small business. I'm a law firm. I own the law firm. And I provide a lot of help to small businesses. And uh, I consider that a valuable part of my experience and practice. And in about 1994, Mickey Martin and some other people came and wanted me to run for the Senate. But they <laughs> didn't tell me that the district I was running from uh, for had been given away to the Democrats in 1994 and redistricted. Um, but since, since 1994, I've held, for better or for worse, the Senate seat out of Somerset County, uh, in spite of the fact that there are about 800 more enrolled Democrats than there are Republicans in that county. I've won 15, no, eight successive general elections in Somerset County. It took two years out to the House, but otherwise, for 13 out of the past 15 years, I've held down a Republican seat in the Democratic County. Uh, and, I, and that's one of the qualifications I bring to bear in running for governor. I think I can win general elections. I've been practicing at it for a long time. The question that you Republicans need to ask yourself about the next governor of Maine is this. Two questions. Can the person you nominate in June win that election in November of 2010? Can he win? And secondly, if he wins, is he going to know what to do with the job? Will he be able to harness some of the anger and the frustration that we've seen in the public lately 
and convert it into action to overhaul what's wrong with the state of Maine. One of the good things about this clean election system is it forces people like me to get into people's living rooms and find out what they're thinking. And of course, I do this every two years. And I go to factory meetings every two years. And what I've been seeing this year is different from what I've been seeing before. Years ago, up until just recently, you would see frustration. You would see uh, discontent and some measure of uh, vague dissatisfaction with government, generally, particularly the state government. But lately, I've been seeing something deeper, anger, hostility. And it's bubbling up. So the challenge that we Republicans have is how to harness that mood and the mood is shifting rapidly in this country, and in Maine specifically. I'm a witness to it. To capture that mood, to win, to win an election in 2010, and put somebody in the governor's office who can take that mood and convert it into action and bring about systemic change in this state that's overdue, been overdue for 35 years. 